Is your water safe to drink? In this video, we're gonna discuss the ugly truth about RV water. And we're gonna cut open a Campco RV water filter. <laughs> what brings you into therapy today, John? Well, Doc, an RV Odd Squad member got really sick from a waterborne illness from brushing her teeth in an RV park. We told her that we'd do a video on water treatment, and now I'm because the research that I found from water is just crazy. It's got bacteria and cysts and pharmaceuticals and... John, calm down. Have some water. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. Long story short, we sold most of our possessions in pursuit of freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short. In this video, we are going to talk about RV water. We're going to talk about why it's so important to get a good system for your RV, different ways that you can filter water, pros and cons of each. We put a couple of systems against one another. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of those specific systems, ways that you can save money, and at the end, John's gonna get out the Sawzall and cut a filter in half. I wanna see what's inside these filters. And we're gonna do the most scientific of all tests, the Skippy test. Assuming that the water that you're getting from any RV park is safe is a bad idea. We thought we had double protection with two Camco filters, one that came with the RV and then we added the one for the hose that we switched out every three months. I thought I had double protection and that the water we were drinking was fine. It turns out that it's not fine. So one of the RV Odd Squad members reached out to us a few months ago and she shared that she had become extremely ill due to a waterborne illness that she got from an RV park. And it's not from drinking the water, she got it from brushing her teeth with the water. That really scared us because she was sick for over a month. Around the same time, our dog started rejecting the water. And we also noticed that there was this film layer inside our teapot and a film layer along the shower from the water. So these three things combined made us very concerned about the safety of our drinking water in our RV. So we immediately got really concerned. I went and started doing research, which is a scary thing because it turned into a rabbit hole. John's already a germaphobe. So when he started doing research, he started finding things like cysts, bacteria, mold, waterborne illnesses, pesticides, prescriptions, heavy metals. All right, all right, that's enough. It was bad. And most people counter this by buying bottled water. But the problem with bottled water is number one, you have the waste. We don't need any more plastic bottles in the ocean. Number two, you're paying for municipal water. That's ridiculous. Which surprised me. I assume when I bought a bottle of clean water it that was it was perfect. specially filtered. It's it's not. A lot of these companies pull it right out of the tab. And the third thing is that when you're in an RV, the last thing you need is a bunch of weight or waste. Exactly. But with that said, once this girl shared with us that she had become sick and the dog stopped drinking the water, Mercedes and I went to bottle water. We started buying gallon jugs and bottled water. And that's a pain in the ass when you're traveling full time in an RV. Why? the weight and the storage capacity. We'd have to go out and buy new water every two or three days because we drink about two gallons of water a day in our home. The other thing that's unique to RVers when it comes to water is that you see different parts of the country have different specific types of water issues. Some areas have sulfur in the water, other areas have iron, other areas maybe have calcium. And when you're living in a sticks and bricks, you'll have a professional come out, test the area, see what the problem is in that specific location, mm -hmm. and build the system accordingly. When you're in an RV, assuming you're moving full time, right. it makes no sense to have a professional come out for each campsite you're in. <laughs> so you need to be ready for all of those issues. So we learned that there are four ways to treat water. You can filter it, you can treat it with reverse osmosis. Which is the best way actually we found to do clean water. But it produces a lot of waste water. A lot water. of waste, so it's a problem with RVs. You have UV, and then you also have water softening, which we found that the water softening systems were about 50 pounds, and that didn't even include the salt and the stuff you have to put in exactly. them. Exactly, so they're just a little bit too heavy. You're responsible for figuring out the cleanest water solution for you in your own situation. Mercedes and I reached out to a whole bunch of companies, and we got a whole bunch of responses back. So those companies sent us free systems that we were gonna set up and test, along with knowing that there was no strings attached, we were gonna test the systems out, and it and just report what we thought. One company actually 
offered us a lot of money to pick their system up and say that it was the best. And unfortunately for them, they don't know me and Mercedes. That's not how we work. Our responsibilities to the RV Odd Squad and to always tell the truth. We have a cool opportunity. We can compare these systems. You probably wouldn't be buying $2,000 worth of different water systems and trying them all out. So we're gonna try them out on your behalf, tell you what we like and don't like about each system. We did negotiate a coupon code and we do have affiliate links. So if you do end up liking one of the ones that yeah. we use and you use our link, we get paid a small commission. It doesn't cost you a penny extra. Actually, it costs you less if you use our coupon code. <laughs> we don't have a dog in the race. So there are onboard and offboard systems, but they pretty much both treat the water before it even enters the RV for multiple reasons. You know, you are showering with this water and your skin is the largest organ on your body. There's also brushing teeth. Right. And not only that, just remove the human element from the equation. When the water runs through the water heater, if it has a bunch of buildup, it can actually damage the water heating element. Exactly. You don't want that crud in your pipes in the RV. So you can treat it before it enters with an onboard system or an offboard system. You will find that these systems are coming one, two, three, and now four filters for an RV. So at one stage it will get bigger material and then the next stage it will get smaller material and then it will go through a carbon filter which removes taste and smell and then ultimately it will go through the smallest. It's trying to remove the smallest stuff from your water. So Clear Source is the company that we started with. They sent us a free system. We installed it. One of the things that we loved about the Clear Source system is it's super easy. It's completely built. So we opened up the box and it was ready to connect to our RV. So the system that they sent us was a three filter system. It was all put together. All I had to do was connect the service from the park into one side of this and then connect the other side to my RV. The system sits right on, outside on the ground. But you do need to get a security cable of some sort to secure that. They also do have onboard systems, but the one, the offboard was really easy to install. And the system that they sent us takes out all particles down to two microns, which is a pretty good filter system. Now, not all of the system itself is made in the US, and it is a relatively new company. But I think as far as ease, they get the gold star because their system was pretty easy. This was a pretty smart marketing deal for ClearSource. Um, they saw a niche in the RV space that no one was serving. So their system is amazing because it's all put together for you. You open the box and it's ready to connect. What they should do though is add arrows from where the water is supposed to come in to where the water goes out makes it a little bit confusing, especially for people who don't know plumbing. Now I knew it, but I did have to take off the housing of the filters to double check and make sure that they were in the right order. Put arrows on the system and make it even more simple. And we did get a discount code with them. It is our box. So if you want 10% off, check out that discount code. The next company that sent us a system was the RV Water Filter Store. You may have heard of them before. They actually sponsored the Nomad movie. They have been serving the RV industry for a while. Yes. Actually, the original owner um, made his own filter with carbon and his neighbors started buying the filter and he realized he had a business. So we really like this company because being family owned mm -hmm. and being actual RVers, that is something that's important to us. Now their system, the one that they sent us, does require a little bit more um, installation. It's an onboard system. System. It might be a little bit confusing, but all you have to do is call them because Dave and his wife will walk you through what you need to get and the best system for you. They are really awesome. They're really awesome people. It's a small family owned business um, and their response to customers is great. Most of the parts are made in the USA, but there are some parts that are not made in the USA. The other thing that the RV water filter store does very well is that they have really good prices. If you're not afraid of the little bit of extra work, you can really save yourself some money and you're supporting a small business. The other system that the RV water filter store sent us was a reverse osmosis system that we're going to install in our kitchen. Unfortunately, since we got to the Pacific Northwest, we've had a problem getting service hookups at a lot of the parks that we visited. So a reverse osmosis system is not going to be a great system for us when you don't have a place to dump the wasted water. Reverse osmosis 
is the best way to clean water for drinking water. The problem with it is it wastes two to three times more than it cleans. So it's going to take that waste and it's going to be putting it in your tanks or in your service. Right now, we don't have service, so we cannot hook up the system. But we recommend that if you're interested, call them, let them know that we sent you. We also do have an affiliate link mm -hmm. below. They can help you get the exact filter that's best for you. So the third company that reached out to us was, it was really interesting and I really like this owner. This is a guy that has been in the business for more than 40 years. US Water Systems does residential and RV water systems. They're all made in the USA and they are very, very competitive. He has a great blog, Ask the Water Doctor, and we reached out to him and he was willing to send us any system that we wanted. He said, just tell us what you want and we'll send it to you. But this is what I really respect about him. He said, I'd rather meet you guys and design a system and install it on your RV that's custom for you and your family's needs. But we're not in a position to tell you if we like their system more or less because right. we're not actually using it. But sometime in the fall, we probably will visit them and mm -hmm. see their their company firsthand. But we wanted to mention them because they were very noteworthy. All right. Now, we told you guys that we would never, ever stamp our name of approval on any product that we hadn't tested for a long, long period of time. But we found a product that we will high, highly recommend, and it is the Berkey. Man, Mercedes and I did so much research on the Berkey. It's a gravity-fed system that works fantastic. I've seen testing where they basically put pond scum water in this thing and it cleans it out. If you're gonna RV and you don't have money to put in a reverse osmosis system and you don't, or you don't have money to put in a, a super great filter system, make sure that your family's drinking the cleanest water. This is the best water that Mercedes and I have ever tasted. Yeah, we love the Berkey. And it was, would you say it was hard to install or to assemble? No, very easy to assemble. And one of the things that we like about it is that it is so beautiful. <laughs> um, there are some downsides to it. We, we want it to be fair and we wanted to find downsides to everything that we listed. So one of the downsides to it is that it does take up a lot of room, but they do sell a basket that you can put it on top, a stand. <laughs> so that saves you some of the counter space. The other con is that when we are traveling, we have to take special precautions with it so it doesn't get damaged. And you have to empty it. And the other thing too is that the one that we've got specifically doesn't have a measure, so I can't tell how much water is in it without opening it and looking inside. And you don't want to overfill it because if you, if you have water on the bottom compartment and then you fill the top compartment all the way, it will overspill and when you fill the dirty water when you put the dirty water in you want to fill it up to the top to of the carbon the filters, filters yes so um those are just little things to to deal with but even if you're going to rv in six months a year 12 months just get the berkey now it get is, the berkey they have all sorts of accessories and we actually do have a coupon code for you so mm -hmm. we have um the link below and then if you use the coupon code Arvoc, then you will get 5% off of your Berkey. Even if you're not currently RVing, I would highly recommend that you get the Berkey. So the filters do last for 6,000 gallons. If you imagine how much it would cost for 6,000 gallons of plastic bottled water, right. the 300 bucks or whatever it costs is nothing it's in comparison nothing, guys. to the gallon jugs that are about a buck a piece. 6,000 of those would be <laughs> almost $6,000. And the taste is second to none. I haven't tasted water this good. I can't remember when. We're like really excited for this Berkey. It's <laughs> we kind love of the silly. Berkey. Okay, so we're gonna do a dog test with Skippy. We're gonna fill one with Berkey water and we're gonna fill one with RV tap water. This does have a three filter system on it. We're gonna see if it makes a difference to Skippy. So this one. Do you think he can read? <laughs> and then this is just filtered water. But believe it or not, this water still smells like pond water and it doesn't taste very good even though we got the outside filtration system going on. And now we're gonna go to the door and feed Skip.
<laughs> he tried both and he's back gonna finish the Berkey. And that is a test, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he does. Does he finish it? Good boy, Cap. Scientific, baby. Dogs know everything. <laughs> this is the onboard system that came with our RV. I'm gonna dump this out. This is the filter that goes inside of it. So we're gonna cut that open second, and this is the one that typically most people in RVs, they buy for their hose, right? So I think that all that's gonna be in this, it sounds like it's just charcoal, but we're gonna see. That's all it is. So it's just a charcoal So filter. it's just charcoal. Oh, look at that stuff. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh man, is that alive? Uh, it's gonna get Is you. that thing moving? No, it's a it's a sponge. It's gotta be a sponge. Oh, okay, it's like a pre-filter. Okay, so there's a, I guess that's their sediment filter. And then it goes into this. Is that alive? Okay, and then you can see some other stuff inside there that's brown. So some of the sediment that it picked up. Hold on. Oh, that's nasty. Can you see that? Here, on, go this way. It. You're blocking the, see that? I think that's just sand. I hope so. Oh, that's another one of those. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay, so it looks like a filter on each side. Two different types of filters. And then charcoal. And then charcoal. Okay. All right, so I guess we'd have to do some research to find out what these are. But How good looks sponges like, are. This is a sponge. It looks like a kitchen sponge. And you can see sponge. the crap it's picked up. See the... Looks like mostly sand in there, but... Yeah. All right. And then let's go for this one. Now this should be two stage, so one should have more charcoal and one I think is gonna have some type of a filter. So we'll cut the top off first. All right, so there's the charcoal. Look at how dirty your water is. Looks like there's another sponge in here. Okay, so it looks like that is Okay, so there's, it's just some type of a filter. It looks more like a sponge. And then there's a filter there. And then we're gonna dump this here. That's all that is, just a lot of charcoal? Oh, and then whatever that is. Huh. That's all it is. I thought that they sold these as something else. I thought there was like a, I don't know what this is. That looks like um, soil. Ugh. <laughs> How does it smell? Look at this. It's like there's some gold stuff in there. I don't know what that is, but it just looks like, look at there's even some gold. I don't know what the gold stuff is. Oh, man. I bet a water professional could tell us what all this is, and it looks like there's another filter in there, too. Wow. So, looks like they're built with the same materials, except this looks like either beach sand, soil, or... And then there's some other probably active chemicals in it. I don't know. So there you have it, guys. Essential, essential. You've got to budget for water. Good, clean water that's healthy for you and your family. So we hope you got a lot from this video. Share with us what you're doing for clean water. And in our, the next video, we're going to talk all about our newbie and glamping essentials. Don't make the same mistake we did. See you in the next video.